Crafting Vicky here with you and today we're doing something different. I wanted to make something for my Etsy store and it's one of those calendars um, that a desk calendar type of thing. So I have this base here and I thought we could make the um, pages that go inside it uh, together. And uh, so we'll start today making the base and then I'm thinking that for 12 videos we'll be making the um, well probably 13 because I we need to stamp the uh, the dates um, the calendar first and then for the other 12 we're gonna make the decoration of these which is gonna be the um, which is gonna be the calendar itself um, so let's get going and um, and once we're all finished um, then I'll put this on Etsy to be sold um, because I think it makes a nice gift and so I'm thinking that it would be nice to have something a little bit different in my Etsy store so I want it to be a tiny bit smaller let's 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 start off by making this straight right that would make that would be a good start so let's make this straight and and then we can cut the actual we're going to cut a template and then we can cut all the other ones after cuz yeah i figured it would be fun to have something uh different for sale in my Etsy store and something that and i figured maybe giving you this idea if if you're looking for homemade gift might be a good one so I'm gonna do it like up to here and then I'm gonna do it about here okay so let's let's do this so we're gonna try making one and then we'll see how it fits on the little uh, support and based on that then we'll adjust for the other ones and it's a great way of reusing your your um, your cardboard obviously so then uh, I'm gonna put this like here on it a little bit below and I'm gonna put this here and this here and actually we'll have to make um, a top as well so it's probably going to be 14 videos plus this one because we want to make the date right a page for the date because it'd be good that if you're looking at this you actually see um calendar uh 2022 and so let's check out how this goes So this would be like that and uh, obviously I'm gonna use the nice this part as being the back and I'm gonna cover the front but you can see like it would fit perfectly and then when you turn this is what you would be left with which fits with what we want to do okay so I need uh, 12 more of these basically So let's let's do this. Whoops. square it even if some pages are not totally the same 
it's not so bad but uh, you want it like as close as possible right because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna look strange okay so then I can mark this actually yeah I'm better off marking it and uh, then this one this I can do I can straighten the, the edges which right now was not straight which is why I was making it more difficult because It's a little bit bigger than this one. Just because I didn't go straight on the line. Okay, this one is better. So far they're pretty good. So we'll straighten this up. I could pull out my big guillotine, but I'm really not feeling like I want to. That's the the part that's the longest is all of this uh, setting up and the um, you know punching the holes and and getting all that done and then once that is done then it's 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 more fun because then you get to the decorating part which honestly like is the part that I like I have one thing I want to do for this is I would like to make. Uh, my own drawings uh, for this uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out those um, and I haven't made them yet <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be my big thing to set some time aside for drawing the image and then I'll want to scan them because I like having my image for later use if I want. I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my grandmother. I usually gave her one of those because um, she has a base. So I usually re uh, did another set. Of, of those cardboards to give to her my my biggest problem this year is the fact that um, when I went to visit her I noticed that she wasn't she wasn't using it because it was too hard for her to uh, turn the pages so I'm thinking of maybe purchasing one of those uh, cal wall calendars from the, the from uh, the dollar store and then changing it up with my own image and uh, drawings, that, so that somebody can put it on the uh, on the wall. 
for her. And then it would be much easier for her to uh, change, turn the pages or somebody would be able to see it and, and think of turning the pages. So that might be a solution. So I'm, I'm going to have to look at that, go to the door store and, and look it up. I really want to get going with my gift uh, making and I'm feeling like I'm not getting it done the way I should and, and I'm going to end up running out of time. Uh, but at the same time I want to make content for you guys and I also would like to be able to put some stuff in my store because you know it would be kind of fun. If I some some items for sale um, that were different okay so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and I said I needed 13 so I still need quite a lot so I'm gonna take, uh, does this fit into my guillotine yeah maybe I can do two at a time I would using this here it would have to be done that way but I could make two if this was straight it would make it easier right now I can't uh, well, we'll just have to make it straight after I guess so uh, so I'll straighten up that edge and then I can straighten up Uh, does it still fit? Yes. Why does this feel like it's crooked? Probably because it is. Are they all crooked or is it just the, the one? Okay, I think the other ones seem to be okay. So, I can do one and then uh, let's do the one and then I can cut for the other one yeah and uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need two more. Oh, it's not gonna fit. I can't fit two in here. That's kind of sad. That's a bummer. Oh well. What? What can you do? have to check though if I have another piece that I could use that would be smaller and I wouldn't waste such a big cardboard um, sometimes I have smaller pieces like this I'm 
I have to tell you, like I keep all my my boxes because I use them so much for all kinds of projects, uh, postcards and and like this. So. Okay, so we've got all the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. You can put the guillotine away because we won't need it anymore. And uh, we will uh, start punching my holes. And I'm my chair is stuck. My roller like is stuck, so I couldn't push my push my chair down anymore. So I'm gonna do just put this here so you don't have the reflection of the glass while I'm doing this. So are you guys making any Christmas gifts? Are you working on that? Or have you decided this year no handmade Christmas gifts? Curious to know. Are you going to... I know some people go to crafts, craft fairs and stuff like that. I can never make enough stuff to go to a craft fair. I had mentioned going to one at one point with my friend Annie and then it never panned out because uh, I never have enough items to uh, actually put in a in a fair. So. It takes a while to do this, and and since I'm working full time, I don't really have much time to uh, to do other items, and I also want to make stuff for fun. So yeah. I would have to like really prepare uh, full on the entire year and uh, that would be way too organized for me. <laughs> I'm not that organized. I always figure I'm going to plan ahead, I'm going to do stuff ahead. This time I'm going to be, you know, more more in um, in control when it comes to Christmas time. I'll be more structured and everything is going to be done and then Christmas comes around and I'm like left in the same situation that I was the previous year. So yeah, not any better. Which is why, you know, the idea of doing, <laughs> of actually uh, making uh, a Christmas fair is almost like impossible. Maybe once I retire one day, I can actually do stuff like that. But it also depends because I'd like to be able to keep my my Etsy store um, filled up so I want to make other content that I don't want like I'll, I'll try to stagger the making of this so that we're not doing this calendar uh, the entire week maybe a few but at the same time like I don't want to finish in forever like I want, I want this to be out on Etsy sooner rather than later especially if people want to give it away for Christmas as a gift 
it'd be nice if they had it in time, you know. Okay, so put this tool away and let's try these off and hopefully it's gonna work. So The trick to putting these on is you need to put them on reverse because otherwise it doesn't work like the side that you want to show is, is not there. And the other thing too is you need to put them in reverse two of the, the order. So like December has to be the first one in obviously if you want to be able to Okay, so, and then uh, we can put this on, and voila, we've got all of them done, and they all fit, so this should be pretty good to go. We'll be able to start this off um, and uh, start decorating these, and it's, it's really fun to use all the scraps that you've got. It's the best way of using uh, scraps and uh, items of that nature. Um, I do admit though that sometimes I end up making more, <laughs> more scraps while doing this. But anyway, just, just some idea of things that you can do. So let me know what you think and uh, hopefully you will enjoy seeing this uh, come alive through the different videos. Love you guys. Bye.